welcome, and thank you for joining me in this walking meditation. Begin today in a standing position. Breathe in and breathe out. On the inhale, taking notice of your toes, your heels, and on the exhale, appreciating the foundation and the base of your practice today that your feet provide. swaying or moving your body now, noticing the amazing balance and strength of our bodies. When you are ready, take your first step of the practice today, propelling yourself into an intentional time of mindfulness, gratitude, and prayer. Find a pace that feels right to you. We are in no rush today. We have nowhere we need to be other than exactly where we are. You'll get the most out of this walking meditation if you're able to walk outside and see the beauty that springtime brings. But walking in any comfortable location can be a positive experience as well. We will begin by practicing mindfulness through movement, checking in with ourselves, and enjoying the present moment. Then we will turn our focus outward and enjoy the magnificent handiwork of our God during this beautiful season. This meditation is yours. Make it your own by following along with what you like and changing what you don't. As you continue to put one foot in front of the other, begin to narrow your focus. Begin by focusing on just the heel of your foot. Feel the pressure against your shoe or the ground as you make that initial contact with every step. Take a few steps here, focusing on one side. And after a few steps, moving to the other side. Move your focus now to the feeling of transferring weight, rolling through your foot, the weight leaving your heel and passing through the middle foot and moving to the ball and toes. On each step, take special care to notice how your upper body stays on top of your feet through the strength and balance of your core. Focus now on the point of detachment from the ground the moment when the back foot presses off the ground with strength to replace the foot in front.
Feel the sensation of the pressure on the ball of your foot and the bending of the toes. Move now to the way that the ankles hinge as they support the feet in the forward momentum. Focus on the strength in the calves from the initiation of a step through the weight transition and the finishing of one step. Take the time to focus on the movement of the calf muscle in one leg, then feel the sensation in the other leg as well. Continue moving up the leg, stopping at the knee and taking notice of the way that it moves throughout the whole step. Move to the thigh muscle. Noticing their engagement and bringing the back foot to the front. Now that you have been walking for a few minutes, become aware of your current emotional and mental state. judging ourselves here, just seeking to understand ourselves better and understand how movement can affect not only our physical but our emotional well-being. If thoughts popped into your mind during your mindfulness practice, can you notice a pattern between them? Again, simply noticing to understand, being kind to ourselves and our thoughts. When we practice awareness of these things and take time to notice patterns, we can develop power over the reactions and emotions that we experience in our daily lives. Take time now to practice gratitude and appreciate the day. Plant love into the ground beneath you with each step that you take. How beautiful it is to be able to move, to walk, to breathe the fresh air and enjoy the artwork of our creator. We are going to spend time now noticing and appreciating our surroundings using our senses.
Let's begin with our sense of sight. Take notice of the brightness of the world around you today. Begin to notice colors, especially the new colors that appear with spring. Notice the bright colors. And notice the dull colors. Notice the rich colors. And notice the muted colors. Look for movement. And for stillness around you. Listen now to the sounds of nature. The bird calls. Take note of all the different calls that you can hear. Listen for the sounds of other animals or people around. Listen for the wind and the trees. Begin to focus on the texture of the ground beneath you. Feel the temperature of the air. the wind on your skin as you continue to walk. Feel the sun's rays or lack thereof. Take notice of any distinct smells Can you smell any plants? As you inhale through the nose, does the air feel wet, dry, or somewhere in the middle? Using our senses helps us to recognize beautiful things all around us that we often tune out. Especially if we often walk along the same path. And this is the time of the year where we want to pay attention to the growth and the newness all around us. As we look around and see new life, we are reminded how God makes us new as well. During this Easter season, we meditate on Jesus' death and resurrection and what that means for our lives.
listen to Romans 6, verses 1 through 11, continuing to move forward, leaving sin behind. We begin, well then, should we keep on sinning so that God can show us more and more of his wonderful grace? Of course not. Since we have died to sin, how can we continue to live in it? Or have you forgotten that when we were joined with Christ Jesus in baptism, we joined him in death? For we died and were buried with Christ by baptism. And just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, now we may also live new lives. Since we have been united with him in his death, we will also be raised to life as he was. We know that our old sinful selves were crucified with Christ so that sin might lose its power in our lives. We are no longer slaves to sin. For when we died with Christ, we were set free from the power of sin. And since we died with Christ, we know we will also live with him. We are sure of this because Christ was raised from the dead, and he will never die again. Death no longer has any power over him. When he died, he died once to break the power of sin. But now that he lives, he lives for the glory of God. So you also should consider yourselves to be dead to the power of sin and alive to God through Christ Jesus. Spend time in prayer now, asking God to make you new. Just as the trees and the plants are made new each spring, we are made new through Jesus' death and resurrection. We are no longer slaves to sin. As your walk comes to a close, take a moment to end your practice as you started by standing still. Focus on the feelings in the feet and in the legs. How is it different from the feeling before you started your walk? As always, as your day continues, find moments to inhale mindfulness and exhale fear. I'm Kat, and thank you for joining me in this practice.